My clients call me the legal lioness. Why? Because I take on that persona of the mama lion, the lioness, looking after her baby cubs. And it originated when we were in South Africa. I was just six years old and my friend disappeared. We don't know what happened to him. He was kidnapped, something happened. He was never actually found. But I then took on this persona of looking after everybody else, watching out for them, making sure that um, there was no danger, or if I saw danger, letting people know about it. So that's, that's how I became the, the legal INS. So the mistake that I made in my business, obviously I was good with legal, but I didn't know how to run a business. I didn't know how to ask for help. I didn't know who to ask for help. And in the end, the business tanked and I had to, had to sell up everything. I had to get rid of my pets. I had to move thousands of kilometers away uh, to a place where I knew nobody. Uh, I slept in a place where I had no bed. I could only take what I could fit into my car. And I've seen too many businesses fail because of the basic legal mistakes. And I never want you to be where I was. So what I'm going to try and do is prevent you from getting to Cowpoo Corner. Now don't be confused by a business name or a company name. They give you no intellectual property rights. Also understand that laws change all the time. So you might have known what it was three years ago, but you might not know what it is today. Prevention is better than cure. If you spend the money here, the investment of the money is means that everything else is secure. If you decide to do it over here, or you wait until you've got a problem when you're over here, you've got so much more to lose. But you can see the more that you build up, the more you've got to lose if you make a, a strategic mistake. Don't wait until there's a problem. How far down the track do you want to be before you have to maybe make a U-turn? Successful businesses make legal essentials and intellectual property a priority at the start. And what, what does a mama lioness do when her cubs are threatened? <laughs> so usually, um, you know, calm and approachable and whatever, but when somebody threatens one of my cubs, boy oh brother, watch out. And yes, Somebody asked me in the last time I spoke, I do have legal lioness registered as a trademark. That is what I do.